Coronary Artery Anomalies Part 2 Heart and Techie In our first video we discussed an introduction to this topic, make sure you watched our first video, we will give the link in the description box, ok, now we can take a look what happens if the coronaries originates anomaly. When left circumflex originated anomaly from right coronary artery, in adult patients relationship of the arterial course to the aorta and pulmonary arteries considering vulnerability to atherosclerosis determined prognosis of coronary artery anomalies, that are associated with life threatening conditions including congestive heart failure, arrhythmia, myocardial infarction, syncope and sudden death. Depending on the anatomic relationship of the anomalous vessel to the aorta and the pulmonary trunk, here, the anomaly can be classified into four common courses, posterior, interarterial, anterior, and septal course. In case of posterior course, that is when left main originated anomalously, most patients with anomalous LM arising from right coronary sinus are asymptomatic and never suffer any complications lifetime. Nevertheless, even in the absence of atherosclerosis, acute angulation of the coronary takeoff, compression by larger arteries, vasospasm, and endothelial injury might cause serious cardiac events. In interarterial or prepulmonic course, the left main will originate between the aorta and the pulmonary trunk, in this case it is rare and sometimes fatal. In preaortic course of left main, associated with a slit-like orifice, in which an acute angle course at the ostium is more prone to occlusion, during physical activity, the artery may be compressed and the flow within it may be compromised. A prepulmonic anomalous course is thought to pose no hemodynamic consequences and, will be probably found as an incidental finding on invasive coronary angiography. A transeptal, intraseptal or subpulmonic course refers to a coronary artery passing anteriorly and inferiorly to the aortic valve, in a subpulmonic route through the interventricular septal myocardium and is mostly described as a benign anomalous course, without hemodynamic significance, it is an uncommon anatomic variant with a potential risk of cardiac ischemia. Hence its alternative moniker. We hypothesize that the hemodynamic significance of AORL with an intraarterial course differs according to the location of the anomalous RCA ostium, because the hemodynamic significance might depend on the degree of RCA ostium, compression and or the intraarterial RCA segment. Stay tuned with us do like share and subscribe.